Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ellie Brown, and my channel is the best place on YouTube for survivors to thrive. So if you've been through something, cancer, scars, physical challenges, and you like videos about getting on with it and getting it done in spite of life's challenges, then I think you're gonna like this channel too, so head right down there, click that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and every time I post a video, you and I get to hang out. I've been getting a lot more notes in my inbox lately. I don't know if that's because more people are home and they have more time, but people have been asking me about how I made meaning out of what happened to me. As in, I'm going through something and I don't understand why this is happening to me. And I've been thinking about that idea a lot. Life tends to happen when we least expect it. And sometimes the biggest challenges hit us right on the head when we aren't necessarily anticipating it. And I think that the current situation is a really great example of that. So many people's lives have been disrupted. So many people are experiencing changes. And it's really hard not to say, why me? Why did this happen? I don't understand. If you're new and you don't know about my story, I'm gonna link my original video up here. It was the first YouTube video that I made after cancer affected my life. So if you don't know my backstory and you want to check that video out, it'll be right there for you to click on. When we begin asking, why me? Why did this happen to me? I think that we do that because we're looking for the meaning in the situation. So many things in life happen to us that feel completely pointless. If this hadn't have happened, that wouldn't have happened. If this hadn't been done, this wouldn't be affecting me. Sometimes life feels like a random ping pong ball flying around and bouncing off any old thing. And after a while, if we think about life in that way, we can get very, very tired and feel very beat up. And then when something really major happens, it might feel even harder to deal with that because when the little things happen to us along the way, we haven't necessarily trained our brain to really deal with that stuff. Train your brain, you say? What do you mean? <laughs> well, let me tell you. I think we do have a lot of choice about how we decide to feel about things. And on a very deep gut level, it might not feel like that when things are happening to us. When something's happening to us in the heat of the moment, our bodies are changed. We have chemicals and hormones running through our body. Fight or flight is happening. We're trying to process something bad, and we don't want to believe it. And those chemicals, those hormones, they're riling up our body in a way that's really preventing us from being able to logically think through what's happening to us and attack it head on with information, with good intention, with faith, with peace. And how can we when we first hear bad news or first feel that something is wrong? This is just the way the human body works, and we don't necessarily have to work against that. We're all allowed to feel our feelings. We all have the right to process those emotions. I think the caveat is that we should never get ourselves into such a state that we could hurt other people or ourselves. I'm going to share something with you in this video that I really hope helps you. I'm not a mental health professional. I'm not an expert of any kind. I did have oral cancer, and over time and with the right support system, I was able to get through it, and I feel like it has actually enriched my life and made me a better person. And that might not be the experience that you're having right now, and that's totally okay. You do you, you feel your feelings. But I would be remiss if I didn't share with you something that I feel like I learned along the way. And it might not help you, but if it does, it might be the first step in a new direction for you. And if you're feeling lost, if you're feeling hopeless, I want that for you. I want you to be able to have something to grab onto and let it take you in a new direction. A lot of people think that the phrase, why me, why did this happen to me, is just a pointless spinning of your wheels. And maybe it is, if that's the furthest you take that thought. But I would like to submit to you this thought. What if, when you asked, why me, why did this happen to me, what if you decided to go ahead and assign that event or that thing meaning? When I got cancer and I knew my entire life was going to change, the thing that kept popping up in my mind again and again, even as I was dealing with the worst of it, was this hope that maybe there would be something I could do with my time and something I could do with my talent after 
the worst of it was over. And I spent a lot of time daydreaming about what that might look like and what that might be. I didn't necessarily know that I would have a YouTube channel. I didn't necessarily know that I would have a Facebook show page. But I did know that being myself and being different was okay. And that maybe if I was able to share being different and being the way I am, that maybe somebody else that was different would see that too and that it might be able to help them. We can never know for sure exactly why, as in see the actual plan written out and have proof of it. We can't do that. But that is what faith is about. And for some people that might feel like, well, it could be any reason. Who knows what it is? I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? But I think that having faith is about listening carefully for potential answers to what it could be. And then landing on the one that feels the most likely. For example, I had been an entertainer and I loved my old life. And I knew I wanted to keep entertaining and keep being in front of people and sharing knowledge and sharing stories and serving in some way. But when I got cancer, it seemed like all of that was in the trash. And then as I thought more and more about it, and I held that hope that maybe it wasn't in the trash, I started to see a very clear path ahead of me where I could take the things that I learned going through cancer and share them in a way that would be meaningful to people. My answers won't be the same as your answers. Obviously, you all have unique lives, unique desires, unique families and stories and backgrounds. But the important thing is that you let your mind rest and you listen for those answers. When your faith is in place, I really believe that the daydreams you have about the things you do are placed into your spirit by this great universe, however you think of it, whether it's whether that's thinking of all of this as a gift given by God, or if you just think of it as a great energy and an openness with love. I'm not here to judge how you think of it. I just want you to listen to it. The time we spend in quiet solitude, really thinking about, huh, why did this happen to me? What could it be? Maybe make a list of things that would be productive answers to why this could have happened to you. Think about the things that you want to do with your life and how should you do them as the person you are standing right here today with all the unique qualities and gifts and challenges and struggles that make you, you. People want to know that in a way you're just like them. So when you leave room to share your vulnerabilities and really be okay with being exactly who you are. Maybe that was the plan. This whole other side opens up that maybe you were afraid to go to before. It's like a different corner of the room with a whole new window view that maybe you were afraid to tiptoe over to that side and explore. So the next time you catch yourself thinking, why me? Why did this happen to me? Daydream about it. Imagine what you really want. And if you pray, send up a prayer that says, God, I don't know why this happened to me, but tell me. And when you tell me, let me feel it in my mind, in my heart, and in my body, that this is the path I'm supposed to take. To you, it might feel a little bit like getting an answer from the universe. It also might potentially feel like you just making a choice. Well, there must have been some reason why this happened to me. So I'm going to say that it's this. I'm going to say that it's so that I become a better mother, become a better neighbor, that I'm able to do this for my community. You have the power to make that choice. And if you have faith, you can make that choice in a guided fashion by listening carefully to the messages that you feel in your gut that are there either from your deep subconscious mind or from God. Who wants to try this with me today? Could be a job loss, could be an illness, could be something going on with someone you love. Ask yourself, why did this happen to me? Not, why did this happen to me? But, huh, what should the reason be that this actually happened? If there's a productive reason, choose it and never ever look back. As I said before, this may or may not work for you. But in my case, deciding that I was going to continue to be an entertainer made so much sense to me 
even the way I am now. In fact, it made more sense to me than the rest of my entire career before this happened to me. It was almost as though at the moment I decided to give this meaning, everything else had been a preparation for this moment. Please tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You guys are my family and I want to hear anything you have to say. If you enjoyed this video and you're not quite done with me yet, I'm going to learn two more right here. To all of you out there who made it this far in this video, thank you for watching and please stay healthy. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.